Good morning, everybody. It is Monday morning and I am off work today. So um, we're just going to have a great, great day, just hanging out, catching up, and all those wonderful things. But I gotta point out this hat. It was sent to me by the company Upside and you can customize what you want it to say and I think it is the coolest thing. I have mine saying, be kind. Um, but I was thinking like, this is great for like, sports parents and um, like really anyone but I could see like putting your kid's name and their number because it comes with letters and numbers. You could also customize and craft some of your own Velcro pieces to add to it for the holidays to make it say certain things um, and I love that you can constantly change it up and I just love that it's like sleek black and white so it'll go with everything but I'm kind of obsessed with it. Like I said, it is Monday morning. We are going to do a couple things throughout today. Today we're making some homemade organic Pop-Tarts for Steven for breakfast for the week. Um, we are going to have curry for dinner, which is a recipe I've shared many times, but it's so quick and easy. I'm gonna share it again today. Um, maybe a couple unboxing of a couple things. I have a planner to share with you. Yeah, there's lots of things to do and just a lot of catching up. So let's go ahead and get this day started. The first thing we're going to do is preheat the oven to 425 degrees. I have some parchment paper for the baking dish. I also bought some organic jam and also some organic pie crust. So we have that going and that's really all we need except for after they cool, we'll need some glaze. So I'm going to go ahead, get the parchment paper in the baking sheet, grab the flour because we need to roll this bad boy out and then catch up shortly. I got my parchment paper in the um, baking dish and now I'm just going to roll out my two high crust. I'm going to put a little bit of flour down. I'm going to try to roll this out into like a little bit more of a square shape. Um, so just so I can cut it a little bit easier, I'm just going to try to pull the corners really into more of a rectangle. Now I want them to be uniform. So I grabbed an old postcard that I had and I'm just going to go ahead and cut out as many as I can using the best pizza cutter on the planet. This one's from Anthropology. It's a bunny. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead Okay. So I'm just going to transfer these over to the baking sheet. Out of two nine inch pre-made pie crusts, I was able to get five pop tarts out, which means I got 10 rectangles because two for each one. This is all the dough that I've left. So that's actually perfect. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab our preserves. I'm doing strawberry. And I mean, pretty self-explanatory. We're going to Spread this out in the center, making sure to leave a border because as it heats up, it'll spread. And we also want to have room to seal this. So spread out. I'm using about two spoonfuls per pop tart. And this is why the template is so handy. They're fitting perfectly. We're just going to close off all the edges with a fork. 
All right, we're gonna pop these in the oven for about eight minutes until they just start to get brown and then we'll take them out and let them cool. Then we'll ice them, add some sprinkles and they will be ready. I'm still wearing my hat. Um, all right, I'm gonna get this all cleaned up in eight minutes. We will check them, see if they're brown, and let them cool. I did eight minutes exactly, and they got so perfectly golden brown. A little bit of the jam, like I knew would happen, has um, liquefied and melted down a bit, so definitely has spread out within the inside. Maybe my recommendation would be is to keep it a little bit more centered, knowing it will spread out but this really isn't an issue. Going to throw them up on a spatula and get them on this cooling rack so they don't keep browning and cooking on the pan, but I'm really happy with them. We are going to let these completely, completely cool. Steven's already gone to work today, so he doesn't need it for breakfast today, but these will be great um, for Tuesday through Friday for him, and he will be so appreciative and so happy. Um, so we're gonna let these cool, then we're gonna make the glaze, glaze them. In the meantime, Bubby is relaxing. I am watching some Gilmore Girls and drinking some coffee, and that's what we're going to continue to do for a little bit longer. While I was enjoying my coffee, um, an Amazon order actually came. I'm super excited about it because I wanted an oil diffuser for the house, um, but I wanted one that looked really, really pretty, and this is something that has been on my mind for a little bit now. Um, and I was watching Estee Lalonde's recent vlog and she pointed out a ceramic one she had picked up and it's by this company called Vitruvi. So I went ahead and got one. Oh, and it's like a matte finish. You can actually like feel the texture of it. Really love it. It also doesn't have like a colored light. It just has a light like warm toned light. So I'm really excited about that. Apparently you just unscrew this part. And here is the, where the water goes, all of that feel line. Awesome, I love it. It's exactly what I wanted. I wanted something super sleek and simple. Then I just got like this little set of oils. There is lemongrass, lavender, rosemary, anxiety relief, peppermint, orange, eucalyptus, and tea tree. I think I'm gonna add a little eucalyptus, a little rosemary, and get this thing up and going. So I went ahead and set up the diffuser right here on this little side table. Um, absolutely love it, but I hate cords showing, so I knew this table would show the cords. So my trick is to take a little painter's tape and tape your cord. Um, any extra on the bottom side of the table. Um, yeah, but it's really beautiful. It's exactly, exactly what I wanted for the space. Obsessed. Yay. Bubba's, what do you think? Ooh, I love it. It's so great. Now we are just going to make the glaze. So I'm going to add a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm just going to add a tablespoon at a time of milk until it liquefies went ahead and used the parchment paper that was on my baking dish and put it under the cooling rack because I'm just going to drizzle the glaze over top of these and let it fall as it may. And because they're strawberry, I'm just going to add really lightly a couple pink sprinkles. Here are the final pop tarts. I am so happy with how they turned out. So I'm going to let them dry, let the glaze harden, and then store them for Steven this week. I just got the Pop-Tarts packaged away and I am going to go work out on my Peloton bike. Um, I am currently training for half marathon. If you follow me on Instagram, I kind of post like after my runs and stuff and what I'm learning as I'm training for this half marathon is running is a great, great metaphor for life. <laughs> um, there are days where I can run five, six miles and feel like I could keep on going and it's so easy. And then there are other days where a mile feels torturous and difficult um, and can be so discouraging um, and you just keep going and pushing through. Yesterday was one of those days. I did five and a half miles and the whole time I was absolutely miserable. Everything felt so hard. My feet hurt. Uh, it was hot. Um, and like every mile was hard, but you just keep pushing through and you get over it. And there are obstacles and hardships and you just keep going. Um, so I think like that's my motto is just like, 
just keep going. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm learning a lot about myself um, while training for this half marathon. Um, but Mondays are a cross training day. Um, one thing I've been doing is trying to mix weights um, as well as like another version of a cardio workout. So today is going to be a 45 minute spin class on the Peloton. So I'm going to get my workout gear on, get to cycling, and then get showered and cleaned up. 2,000 years later. So in here I have um, garlic, onions, ginger, and then I added fennel seed, cumin seed, uh, turmeric, and um, uh, turmeric and oh, smoked paprika. Now I'm just going to add a box of vegetable stock and I'm gonna let this start to simmer while I prep my vegetables. A lot of you have asked when you've seen me make curry about this spice tin. It's from Amazon. I'm gonna keep it linked down below. Um, I buy all my spices in bulk and I just love this tin. I um, mean, you just arrange them in there. It comes with a little spoon and it has like this little lid. And I usually like just leave this out on my counter. And while that is simmering, I'm going to have these baby potatoes, prep the peppers, and um, cut up the carrots, and then toss those in. Um, if the broth doesn't cover the vegetables, I'll add a little bit more till they're completely covered. I'll let it simmer, add some curry powder, some garam masala, and we will call it a day. Alrighty, so now I have the potatoes and carrots in here. They need to cook the longest. And um, one box of chicken uh, vegetable stock has definitely covered them. I have the peppers prepped. I'll add them last because they don't need long to cook. And then in here I put um, some curry powder and some garam masala. I buy everything in the big bags. This is always at our grocery store and it is so much cheaper than buying little jars. It lasts forever and then I can always make curry whenever I want. I also buy my garam masala in this huge container. All right, I'm just gonna let this simmer. Steven is home from work. Cheers. We fed Bubba's. He's having a glass of wine. What kind of wine are you having? Uh, Pinot Noir. It was a rough day. <laughs> so I'm gonna catch up with him about his rough day while the curry simmers on medium low. Now that it's come to a boil, I just turned it down. Once the potatoes and carrots feel tender, um, we will add the peppers and the finishing secret touches. They're not quite tender yet, but I am going to add a little bit of honey, a little splash of soy sauce. It adds like a good smoky, salty taste to the curry. And I'm just going to add the peppers because they don't need a lot of time to cook. And then we're going to add some light coconut milk to them and let it simmer for a couple more minutes, maybe 10, 12 minutes, and then this will be ready to go. All right, so now, oh, that fogged up my lens, oh no. So now I'm just adding light coconut milk. I'm going to stir this in. Ugh, oh, I wish you could smell this. So Steve and I finished dinner, he fell asleep on the couch for a couple minutes, but now we're gonna go take a family walk in the park. <laughs> around 9 30 and we are going to head off to bed and then i will see you all in the morning alexa good night good night talk to you tomorrow good morning it is tuesday morning and i am so excited to get the day started it's like about 4 30 i just started the coffee 
Steven's asleep, he doesn't have to be up for a while. Um, and I'm just gonna lay some incense and my candles and relax this morning. Found this amazing contraption. It's called a Warpy. I got it on Amazon. It is an electrical candle lighter. So you just turn this on and then you turn on this part and it makes like an electric. And you get 300 lights from one charge, which means you never have to rebuy those um, Bic lighters anymore, which is just amazing. Gonna relax. Got the diffuser on as well over there. Just turned on the Gilmore Girls. Going to get breakfast. Breakfast is pretty lame this morning. It is a piece of toast with hard boiled egg and everything, bagel seasoning, two cups of watermelon, and some coffee. Bon appetit. So I just got back from a walk and I also stopped at the tennis court and hit some tennis balls around. Um, Steven is up and he is trying the pop tart. So how are they? They're very good, look I'm having two. Oh my. Yum. I made one for every day. I might have to make another batch. Bubby, are the pop tarts good? I haven't had any. You haven't had any? Uh, yeah. Daddy didn't share any with you? So this morning I went for a wonderful walk. It was like a little before six and just totally relaxed and centered myself. And as I walked, I listened uh, to Francesca Battistelli, like a playlist of some of her songs. And just walked through the woods, enjoyed my time. Um, it was a really nice way to start the day. I think if you can start your day in like the calmest of ways, it will make a huge difference. I know that some people like to get as much sleep as possible, but when you like wake up, have to get ready and rush out the door, I think you just set yourself up for like a frazzled day. So I feel super calm, super centered. Um, yeah, it was just a beautiful way to start. Um, then after that, I walked a trail around the tennis court, so then I hit the tennis courts, hit a couple serves, um, some forehands, some backhands, um, just to get a little extra movement in today. And now I'm back home. Um, Steven has now left for work, and I am just diving into um, a devotional that I'm using. It's 25 days to a fresh start. I just stumbled upon it on Amazon. It's called Evoke. And I'm really enjoying it. I'm on day four, um, so I'm gonna go ahead and read today. And then we'll catch up. I also told you we would talk about a planner, and this is my Infinite Agenda's 2019-2020 planner. It is gorgeous. First of all, like the silver gilding. This is the black one um, with the silver. It's just beautiful. Um, it does have one of those elastic bands to help keep it closed, but the planner itself, I know I've walked through it a couple times. It is so, my infinite agenda just keeps getting like sleeker and sleeker. So here are stickers that it comes with. Um, I love how that like folds out. Like the quality and the thought that has gone into this planner is just incredible if you're not familiar it's a lot about like manifesting um your goals and gratitude so like there's all these sections where you can like work through what i'm grateful for what i'm excited for um like what are my goals for next year where do i see myself in the future wildest dreams really really amazing things like that there's places for vision boards which you know are one of my favorite things to do and then a year at a glance calendar then in your months Look how beautiful, like, look how beautiful that is. And they picked really amazing quotes. That's one thing they always do. And it starts in August. So, like, right now is a great time to order it. Um, you have your monthly calendar and then a monthly goal sheet. And then each of your days is a box with, like, what are you looking forward to? What are you grateful for? Really, really beautiful planner. But what is really exciting, I am so ridiculously honored, on October 9th, well, the week of October 9th, which is Yom Kippur, look who their quote is. That's me. Um, I am humbled and honored. Um, my quote was, give yourself permission to pause. If you need to, plan it. 
in moments of presence and pause, you make room for gratitude and space to determine your next steps. Pausing is one of the best gifts you can give yourself. When they reached out to me, I knew I wanted to talk about pausing and planning. Um, I think the question that a lot of you asked me, I actually just got asked it this week, is like, how do you get everything done um, in a day? And how do you do all the things that you wanna do? And the honest to God answer is you plan it. And I make sure that everything has a time, everything has a spot. So today's tennis and the walk, those were all given times. Um, and it just ensures you that you have the time to do the things that you really, really wanna do. Um, as far as reading my Evoke devotional today, I have planned that, it's in my schedule. For dinner tonight, I am making little mini meatloaves um, for Steven and I with 99% lean ground turkey. And then I just do that in the jumbo muffin tin. So I'm just gonna tell you what I'm adding really quick. So I shredded about a cup and a half, not a cup and a half, one and a half carrots, one and a half celery stalks, and about three spit brigs of green onion. I like green onion a little bit more than like a diced yellow or red onion in here. I don't know, I just like the flavor more. Then I'm going to add a couple splashes of Worcestershire sauce. I can never say that right. One, two hits of Tabasco sauce an egg, then about a half a cup of breadcrumbs. Now I'm just gonna divide this up into the tins, hopefully get about four or five of them. And then I'm gonna make some broccoli and also some mashed potatoes tonight. We changed up dinner a bit tonight. I'm doing the potatoes in the air fryer, just cut them up and threw them in at 400 degrees for 20 minutes. At the 10 minute mark, I'll shake them up a bit. I just seasoned them with garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, and some paprika. Just gonna let those go. And I think in five more minutes, yep, five more minutes, I toss those. Then just chopped up zucchini, same exact seasonings as the potatoes, onion powder, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. And I'm just going to cook these on the skillet to have with the meatloaf. I was gonna mess with mashed potatoes, but that just seems like too much effort. This will be way easier. We had dinner, and now we are going to head off once again for an evening family walk. You guys are really getting a glimpse of like what our daily routine is like. I'm going out way tonight. Are you close to here? We are back from our walk and this vlog feels complete. So I'm going to end it like I end all of them. Take care of yourself, take care of others and be kind. Kindness is free, give it to everyone. Until next time my friends, bye bye.